In this video, you will learn how to assign and use plastic rules in your designs with the Fusion 360 product design extension. The Assign Plastic Rule command lets you assign a specific plastic rule to components in your design. The plastic rule automatically controls certain properties of features within that component, like physical material, thickness and radii, using automatically generated parameters and physical properties. With this tool, you can quickly apply plastic material properties to any components in your design, and, due to the parametric nature, you can edit these values at any time and have those changes propagate to any components with the respective material rule assigned to them. As a best practice, you must assign the plastic rule prior to using subsequent parametric features such as shell or thicken to ensure those features inherit settings and parameters from the plastic rule. To access the command in the design workspace, switch to the plastic tab and locate it on the toolbar. When the Assign Plastic Rule dialog displays, you can select a component in the browser or the canvas, and see the displayed list of plastic rules. Expand each rule to see its specific settings. These fall into three categories. Physical material, which is applied to the component and affects the physical and mass properties based on the plastic material. Physical values, which includes the thickness, draft angle, and nominal radius, which are referenced as parameters and used by modeling commands such as extrude, rib, web, boss, snap fit, emboss, thicken, shell, and draft. Design advice values include the thickness range, thickness variation, minimum draft angle, and knife edge threshold. These are used by Design Advice to identify manufacturability concerns based on best practices for plastic injection moulding and provide recommendations to address them. Select a plastic rule, then click OK. The plastic rule is then assigned to the component and is displayed in the browser, where you can see the name of the rule as well as its settings. If you open the physical material dialog, you will see the material has also been applied at a physical level with the appropriate appearance and physical properties applied. If you ever change the plastic rule for a component, then these properties will update accordingly. It's worth noting that you can only assign plastic rules at the component level, not to individual bodies. So all the bodies that sit within a component will inherit the component's particular physical material properties and appearance as defined by the plastic rule. When assigning materials, you will find automatically populated parameters in the parameters dialog. Here in the model section, you can see parameter values that are respective of the materials assigned. With the product design extension, now every time you perform commands such as shell, thicken, draft or fill it, for example, these parametric values will be automatically assigned. Now, if you decide to change any of the material's values, you only need to change one value to have these propagate against all instances with that same parameter reference. Now you know how to assign plastic rules to components in your design, and with the use of parametric values, how these values can be automatically assigned to various solid features using the Fusion 360 product design extension. Thanks for watching.